Obviously, he loves his cookie. Yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> what can I say? I mean, I don't I know some. anything around here no, anymore. No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> You're in my kitchen now. Hey, hi everybody. Uh, it's the Papa with you, and it's uh, the middle of my week. It's a Tuesday night, and I'm getting ready to make a very easy middle of the week meal. In fact, I, as I was thinking about this, I like easy meals mostly through the week. And because I've been on a diet and you notice I look very slim and trim <laughs> and the black apron helps, black always helps. I wanted to do something and I looked in my freezer and I had a bunch of uh, pork chops I need to get rid of. So I found a couple, in fact I found four of them, found some nice, uh, nice, nice pork chops. And I'm going to do a real neat little recipe tonight on my uh, smokeless grill. It's really simple and it's very, very healthy as well because I've sort of been watching that weight thing. And I'm going to do a mustard plum vinaigrette. Uh, and we're going to add it to both the pork chops uh, once they're cooked and we're also going to add it to some arugula. So I'm going to just do pork chops and arugula tonight. I did earlier make a little bit of hot water cornbread that we're going to eat. So the late, lately you've watched, I've, I've done a lot of fish. Judah helped me last week do a ramen, a three bowl ramen thing. Him and I did a recording on that. That was fun. And I got to actually do my own down here of some ramen just for me to eat because he taught me a lot. Uh, prior to that, we had Nana's birthday celebration, so I'm sort of back into the meals and all that. So this rest of this month and even into August, I'm gonna do some of these one skillet, one uh, easy kind of two, three ingredient meals that we can put together uh, in an evening. Now, what I've gotta do with this is I've gotta build the vinaigrette, and it's the mustard vinaigrette kind of stuff. Put my, my pork to the side for a second. I'm gonna start with chopping up uh, this shallot and we're gonna get this finely, finely chopped. And so I'm gonna come along here and we do sort of like this and we're gonna you know, chop this of, down. A mm -hmm. lot of people don't think that pork is uh, a diet food. No, I know they don't. But, but I have to just have about four to six ounces of protein and some greens. But listen, and that's what my diet is. You know what do. it's called? What? The other white meat. It is the other white yeah. meat. That's true. Especially pork loin. Yeah, well, but if you get these pork chops are not too fatty. No. So and it'll be great. I don't know about you. I know about you, Susan. I don't know about the viewers, but I'd rather have pork or beef than chicken. I know you're opposite of that. Yeah, I love <coughs> pork chops though. I you Yeah, know, you do. Yeah, I, I know eat you do. just about yeah. everything except yeah. lamb. I don't as we know particularly. No, you don't care particularly for. care for lamb. Um, but these are going to be good. You know, I think you're going to enjoy these. And by the way, let me say this, the plum thing. If you look in recipes, you can find pork matched with apples. You can yes. find it matched with apricots. You can find it matched with plums. You can find it matched with just about every fruit known. For some reason, and don't ask me why, ask a professional, well, I am a professional, but ask a <laughs> professional cook. They uh, just always are matching pork with a fruit because it just seems to take on certain flavors and people just really enjoy them. So I'm getting my shallots here well minced up if you would and we'll get this going here. What I'm going to do is take a medium bowl here and we're going to put, let me, don't get my legs would you? <laughs> well you we're can't gonna, back no, up well, like I'm sorry. That. <laughs> but anyhow I'm going to start wearing long pants. And that's right there we I go. I just don't want everybody and, looking at my and legs. And shoes. I got shoes on. Oh, you do? Yeah, I got oh, shoes good on for today. You. Yeah. Okay, so with the shallot, I'm going to add um, some other things. And this is a mustard type of vinaigrette. I'm going to take about one teaspoon here, actually two te teaspoons of this Dijon. This is the regular Dijon mustard. And I'm gonna put that in there. And then it calls for, this recipe calls for two tablespoons of the of the, uh, what is this called? Mustard it's seed, the isn't It's it? the seed, yeah, I love this stuff. And this is gonna really be nice, both on the pork and on the arugula. Oh, I just love this stuff. And then I've got about a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, and I've got one tablespoon of white granulated sugar, and we're going to stir all this up, uh, whisk it up, just like this, 
and get that all sort of blended together. Oh, I can almost taste this right now, how good. And again, this is mostly stuff you've got in the freezer usually, or excuse me, the fridge, and you just, it's just good stuff. Now, while that's like that, now I'm going to emulsify a half a cup of uh, extra virgin olive oil in here. And so I just slowly drizzle it in, just like that, and we want to get it all blended up together. And even with the arugula, that's going to taste really good, you know? So, yeah, it will. Mm -hmm. Because arugula has a little tart. Sauce. Yeah. And this is just nice. The arugula we grew in our garden, actually, I let it go too long. It got very peppery. Very peppery, yeah, it did. Now, I want to add in, and by taste, and I'll taste it here in a second, but I want to add in some um, salt, and I want to add in some uh, cracked black pepper. So let me do that. What kind of oil did you use? Did I just used oil? an olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And then I also got myself some... Um, Brown sugar? Uh, no, no, oh. not yet. I've got myself some uh, finely diced fresh oregano. And this is about two teaspoons of that. And we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna blend all of this together. And this is gonna be the vinaigrette. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna set this aside. Let me make sure it's right on the salt. But we're gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna start working on my plums. Oh yeah. Oh man, is that ever gonna be good? Mm. Love that mustardy effect on that. Yeah, that'd be good. It really is. Don't you have a mustard oil? Uh, no, I got a garlic good? oil. I got a well, garlic oil. Let me get set up now, and I'm going to come back with the plums and with the pork chops, and we're going to get cooking on those. These plums are just beautiful. And I usually just cut them in half and twist them and open them right up. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's, now that's a, a plum. Good one. That's a good plum. That's a so plum. look at this beautiful plum. I mean, you can't beat that. And I'm going to keep these half because they're going to go on the grill. I've got one more. You're going to see these are just beautiful. Yeah, that other. Yeah, we accidentally bought a nectarine. But with that, yeah, with I don't that. know what happened. There you go. There's the plum. Somebody stuck a nectarine I in think with they the plums. did. No. <laughs> it didn't look right, did it? Not when you opened it, mm -mm, it didn't. Mm -mm. Oh, beautiful. We'll get that. Oh, that's great. Okay. And these are gonna grill first. Uh, we're gonna grill those first and then we'll work our way backward. Ignore this. Uh, and by the way, I, I, Susan reminded me there briefly, uh, sometimes you don't maybe have Dijon mustard or, or uh, whole grain mustard in your uh, fridge or pantry. You know what, buy a jar. It, they're a little more expensive, but you, you, you'd be surprised at how much wonderful they are, particularly on certain types of recipes like this, than using a yellow mustard or something. You know, some of you have never tried anything beyond a yellow mustard. I dare you to try something a little bit different. And also, I had such good response about our poll last time uh, on the types of uh, uh, side dishes, you know, rice, pasta or potatoes what i would love to know what were we talking about today do you remember oh, oh we it were... was about meat wasn't right. it right so we've done enough fish so don't include well yeah include fish you got to tell me what is your favorite because i'm going to try to see if i can find out where you guys lean as far as different types of meat and then i'll cook accordingly um i'm still going to do all all four groups if you would beef pork chicken and uh, fish but uh, I'll do some more than others maybe so maybe in your comments tell me which ones are your favorites in order top to bottom or whatever and uh, we'll go that way all right let me pull out my uh, smokeless grill get it all fired up get it heated up and then we're going to do some cooking here did you ever put plums and pork chops together I never did. yeah oh yeah you're gonna like this yeah. I think you're gonna Can't like wait. it all right, I'm gonna, while the uh, smokeless grill is heating up, I'm going to prepare my pork chops. My plums are ready to go, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those in just a second. All I need on the pork chops is some salt and pepper on both sides. We're gonna salt those good. And then we're gonna do a little bit of something different. Of course, we're still working with the fruit. By the way, I usually would just do two pork chops because we can't eat four. 
ourselves, Susan and I, but uh, I had a few more in there. I wanted to just get out of the freezer. I've got to frost my freezer. Uh, so there's that. And then uh, I'm going to put some black pepper on both sides. So I'm doing the one side. And I'll show you what I'm going to actually do. Let me flip these over, do the salt and pepper on the other side as we get them ready to hit the grill. How long do you think they'll take? You know what should take if I get that grill hot enough. And remember, we talked about that with the lamb chops. Yeah. Um, if I get that grill hot enough, it should take 10 to 12 minutes, and it shouldn't be too long. These two here are a little thicker, which I really like. These thin ones will go fairly fast, actually. But the secret with the grill is remembering to put the top on when they're yeah cooking. when it's when it's cooking and when it's heating up. Yeah. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I've got the salt and pepper on both, and this. Plum mustarda is, I think is how you say it. It's just another, uh, mustarda is another French name for plum mustard. <laughs> it requires a little bit of paprika on each one, smoked paprika. Mm. So I'm gonna do that in just a little bit. Don't need a lot. You just want a little bit of the flavor. I like smoked paprika. I do too, I do too. It, and with it pork, has a, especially. It, it really oh man, has. yeah, it really does a good job with that. A little bit right here. And then here's the secret ingredient for this, and I can see where these are gonna brown up really nice, is I've got some, in this case, dark, dark sugar. Not oh, the light. Brown sugar. Brown sugar, yeah, excuse me. Dark and, brown sugar. Yeah, and right? you just wanna sprinkle a little bit on each one of those chops. You don't do a lot, just enough to Give it a nice oh, little. That uh, always goes good on pork chops. Oh yes, sirree. So remember, this is this is a low cal meal. Yeah, I'm trying to make it. <laughs> trying to make it. You know what? When you cook like you really want to cook. Yeah. You just. And you know what I do? I always pop this in like this, Sue. Yeah. Um, just oh, so that it, it in. press it in yeah. because I'm going to actually lay these chops down with this side down first because it's already prepared and then when they're cooking I can um, finish the other side with the paprika yes. and the uh, brown sugar. I see. So I think we're about ready. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my um, paper towel here. Sorry, I have a hard time remembering. I'm starting to... <laughs> well, you're to, trying to do two oh things goodness, at once. Evidently. Wow, I can't even... <laughs> Multitasking yeah, gets harder. It is harder. Are you sure you're not the one who turned 70? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm very young and on this I just want that whole grill nicely oiled and uh, let me put this to the side and now do a little bit more oil have you have I told you lately that I'm glad you're doing the cooking yeah I know you are I know you, you don't even have to tell me it's always in your smile <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm gonna get these going so I'm gonna put these down and let them grill and you need about uh, you want them to char and you want that fruit on the bottom like that to get nice and charred on it. You'll need about two minutes probably there, we'll see. Now I'm gonna get my pork chops going as well. And I'm gonna lay these, and I may not get all four of them in here yes. just because I've got the uh, plums on there. It sounds like it's hot. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Let me get this down. I can at least get this one in there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that some. Yeah. There we go. There we go, I got three in, and when that plum comes off, I'll put some more on. Now, on this, I'm still gonna do up on this side, the brown sugar thing. Really, what you're looking for here, and if you've got a, a thermometer, uh, which I do, I have a little digital thermometer, I'm going to be looking for, once I turn them and they cook a little while, you need about at least, probably about eight minutes on each side. Uh, I'm going to be looking for about 140 degrees internal. And once that happens, I'll pull them off and then I'll let them rest for another probably five, 10 minutes. And that will get them up to about 145. And that's just a perfect, nice, moist level. Uh, well cooked, not killed, but cooked nicely. Uh, level for pork. It's going to be just great. So that's And they good. keep cooking once they're off. Oh, they do. They, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Never think they don't. Yeah, exactly. So let's put the lid on here and we'll watch those plums because I don't, you know, obviously don't want them to burn, but you really will know that they're done when they lift off easily from the grill. So somehow we got rid of my uh, tongs. No. Oh, here they are. They're not normally in here. Oh, I thought you kept them no, in there. No, I keep them in that drawer. See? Well, who do, I need you. I mean, I don't I know you. anything around here no, anymore. No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> You're in my kitchen now. 
That's right. Nah. So I'm purposely staying away. You made something the other day, though. What did you make? Oh, for I made some delicious all brand buds oh, um, muffins uh, with banana, banana. With banana muffins. Yep. Those were good. And they're made with mm -hmm. uh, regular brand cereal. Yeah, yeah. Hey, by the way, I will tell you this. On July 4th, my mother, uh, who you've seen on this channel, had a little fall. Not a little fall, it was a big fall. Yeah. And so uh, I thought I'd let you guys know, I'm not gonna go into a bit much detail, but she is in the hospital. So it's been a week. I'm cooking this a week after July 4th. It's been a week. I was out of town. In fact, just as you and I, Sue, were getting on the plane in Honolulu yes, to come we home, got a text. we got the call. And she had fallen, taken a bad fall, and um, was taken to the hospital. She's still in the hospital. And the fall is going to require, once she gets out of the hospital, probably another couple of weeks at least, we'll see, playing it by ear right now, of uh, rehab. She broke, if you can believe this, folks, she broke 13 ribs. So she is yeah. not in a good shape right yeah. now. She's doing a lot better. I was just up to see her today, and she actually is doing better um, as far as um, getting around and she's able to they help her out of bed and in back into bed and all that But they say she, her numbers are doing good. They had her on a, like, you know pressurized oxygen for several days And now that's off. So I don't want to like I said I don't want to get into a lot of detail just to let you know to keep her in your prayers I think she's gonna get around this thing, but it's gonna take some time and so you won't see her cooking for a while Yeah, so think. any cooking we do we'll do extra for her. Yeah, dad. and we'll take them take and them up take, for her. Yeah, so we gotta keep him In healthy. fact, I made her some chocolate chip cookies the other day and took yes. them up there and I made them a loaf of bread and I didn't take the bread in but what I did is I took a slice of bread made her a peanut butter and jelly and she actually told me today she had a bite of the peanut butter and jelly yesterday was it yesterday I took yep. the bread um yesterday a couple bites she saved it and she had it this for morning breakfast. for breakfast yeah she <laughs> likes that better than she, the other breakfast. she does not like the hospital oh food. don't even go there with her <laughs> mm -mm. so that'll be a real motivation to for her to get there. better quick yeah, and yeah, get out they're doing just great but wow, she is a miracle so i mean to break that many ribs oh, and to be goodness. going to it rehab. knocked her out they do say the, the doctor said today she was unconscious for a little bit and it's only been a week. I yeah. mean, she is a total miracle. Yeah, she is. So, yeah. well, thank God, eh? Yeah. Okay, as you can see, they're looking pretty good, these chops are. So I'm turning them over, and we'll let them cook on the other side. These are doing very well. Let me just look. Oh, yeah, they they're still could use a little bit more charring. So let's get those going here. Yeah, we'll see how that does. Yeah, we'll see how that grill. goes. Uh, yeah, it's doing, I want them really hard and brown, you know? Maybe this one's a little bit, yeah, that's doing better, but I think they're, you know, when you put those fruit on like that, this is not the best grill for that, so. No, I'm sure yours will look much better on a regular grill. On a regular grill, grill but yeah. when you can't have a regular grill, this is the this number works. two way. Yeah, exactly. Right. Works really well, actually. And again, all I'm looking for at the bone, near the bone, is a 140. See, I'm at 120 now. So I've got to go. I've got a ways to go yet. So. Yeah, cover it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to. And we'll cook that last pork chop later. And by the way, I will keep you updated on her every once in a while. So on yes. uh, my mother, so no big deal. But we, uh, hey, we trust God, and so it's all going to be fine. So I mean, goodness sake, 91. They can't believe her numbers. Uh, breaking that many ribs or fracturing them. They, uh, the <laughs> one nurse says, look, we've had. <coughs> I was laughing. We've had 18 year olds in here with one broken rib and you think the world was coming to an end. So, Well, I've never had a broken no, rib, but had. anybody who has will they tell say you it's, it's painful. very painful. Yeah, so you guys know yeah. if you've had it. Yeah, that's right. See, they need to be blacker, but on this grill, you're not gonna get that. But and these chops are almost soft. done. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they soften right up. My uh, pork chops are resting. I've got the last one on the on the uh, smokeless grill. Let me put the lid on that and let that cook a little bit. What I'm gonna do now, these are a little cooler, and I'm gonna cut these into fourths or whatever here. Maybe, actually that's a half, so these are eights, aren't they, four of them. I'll show you what I'm gonna do, and I may not use all of them here, but oh, those are so nice and soft. I love that. That one turned out really well, uh, and this one will too, I'll bet you. Um, so again, I'm just using what I know is going to work. Take these and add these 
to your oh. vinaigrette, okay? And yeah. put them in like that. And I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to mix them up in here. And uh, everything, I don't even need to use a whisk. I probably need to use a spoon. Let me do that. Wow, that's interesting. Isn't that nice? And I'll just show you. Uh, so now you've got those in there. It's just a beautiful blend of flavor. And what we're going to do, I'm curious as how good these are. Gotta try one, huh? Oh. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. They're nice, but the ones I got in here are better. Oh, you mean they're softer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, come around here. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of this vinaigrette with the plums in it, and I'm going to put it on my arugula. Put the plums down in there, like that, some of them. Get some more vinegar in. They almost look like tomatoes. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. And what I want to do is I want to toss it just like this. Just like that. Beautiful. Beautifully done. And you know what, Sue? I put a little bit of that arugula away, but I think I'm going to grab some more out. Okay. And put some more in there just because I forgot, you know, when you put the vinaigrette on, it sort of goes down a little bit. Let's just add a little bit more arugula that we have prepared. There we go. Now I'm using my hands, but hey, I'm my house, my kitchen, and I'm sanitary. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plate this up with a little bit of arugula on each plate with the plums. Oh, you can just smell that, so good. Look at that. Yep. Just beautiful. That's great. Yeah. And then, tell you what we're gonna do, each one of us are gonna get a chop, and I'm gonna take the chops this will be yours, this will be mine, let's say it that way. And I'm gonna put a little bit, I'll put a piece of that on there, and a little bit of this oh, that'll be on good. here. Isn't that good? With the brown sugar yeah. and everything yeah. else that's Oh on my it. gosh, and the shallots in here, and yeah. uh, the mustard, you know. And look at that, that yeah. is. Yeah, and then you can get a corn. Oh, would you like that? Yeah. Okay. I want to eat one with Yeah, them. okay. So I put those in the oven to keep those a little warm. Yeah, a piece of cornbread, hot water cornbread. And we put that right. right there. Oh, there man. Go. Oh, man. That'll be delicious. That's a meal. That's a meal. Oh, oh, is that ever good? So yep. there you have it. Yep. Mm hmm. Can't wait to try it. I can't either. Let's take a picture of them here over here. Okay, now look at I'm gonna eat these. We're gonna sit down and have our dinner. When we're done, I'll give you a report, okay? And I'll uh, show it to you. Okay, it was, this is an after action yes. report. That that was really good. Hey, one, one pork chop is plenty. Oh yeah, this is my last bite. It was delicious. Oh. Mm. I mm. finished mine already. Mm. <laughs> it was so good. That and then so the good. arugula with yeah. the, um, that, that um, dressing you can make and just keep in your you fridge. Could you could easily. It'll last it for several time. days, yeah. And by the way, this, it may have looked complicated. It was so easy. And honestly, if you have a uh, outdoor grill or on your patio or something like that, use it. Uh, the pork chops will go faster than mine. They'll sear a little bit better than mine. Mine, that is a great deal, you know, but it doesn't sear yeah, as although well. although this time it went so much it did better, better than yeah. the last mm -hmm. one. So and we're um, learning it. Yeah, and um, they, they were just done inside perfect, 145. Yeah. They were just juicy. The brown sugar, the paprika, that worked out good on them. That's easy. Uh, salt and pepper, of course. And then putting a little bit of that um, uh, vinaigrette, that mustada oh, on, the uh, on yeah, with the yeah. plum. Oh, man. Yeah. And the arugula, which I'm not a kale or arugula person t typically just by itself. Yeah. But oh, that arugula with that on there and the plum. So every time you bit into a plum, you had this burst of beautiful fruity flavor. It, that was good. This is simple, and yet it, you saw by the pictures and the you know the plating. I mean, this would work for uh, uh, do four of them. It, it would easily work for company or whatever yeah. the case oh, yeah, may be. be a great and dinner. people think, no. oh my goodness, you've made us the yeah. best meal you've. Oh my, and it's nothing. You didn't do much of anything. It's an easy easy meal for the Yeah, evening. and you could do a lot of it ahead of time. Oh, like yeah. The dressing. You could do the and, dressing easily. And then mm -hmm. just put those pork chops on the grill yeah, and, and go done. Yeah, go for it. Absolutely. It's nothing. And and grill the uh, plums. And the the two or three plums that did grill good for me, those yeah. turned out so good because they're soft and they're juicy. And they're tart, so and they go tart. along with the oh, dressing. Mm, I'm anyway. I'm going to be thinking about this meal all Obviously, he loves his cooking. Yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> what can I say? 
But every once in a while, I don't like what I've done. Did you like the uh, cornbread? Oh, I always like cornbread. <laughs> Any kind of cornbread is good for me. Yeah, so anyhow, there you go. So whatever you're having for dinner, mm -hmm. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.